Tata Motors has given a facelift to its Safari and Harrier SUV to compete with the SUVs in the market. Now, while X showroom price of the facelift uh, variant of Harrier SUV is between 15 to 15.49 to 24.49 lakhs, Safari SUV has been priced between 16 to 25 lakhs. Now, ET now Sumit Chaturvedi caught up with Tata Motors Managing Director for Passenger and Electric Vehicle Division Shailesh Chandra to know more of the strategy for the SUV business. I mean, the Harrier Safari had been a very popular model. So Harrier was introduced in 2019 and then Safari uh, followed it with 2021 launch in its new avatar. Uh, we have seen in the last uh, two, three years that uh, there are very distinct customers for Harrier and a Safari. Safari is for those people who have achieved success. They have a very busy lifestyle, but also they want to reclaim their life by spending time, quality time with their family and friends. And therefore, a seven seating configuration works well. Whereas in Harrier, you see more young achievers you know, who are modern day, you know, warrior kind of a mindset. Uh, and therefore it was appealing to a slightly different customer segment. And therefore we thought that we need to give distinctness to these two products. And that has gone behind the idea of giving a massive upgrade. While we saw that we had to give styling differences and uh, bring that uh, greater SUV kind of a uh, uh, styling and more modern styling, we said that we will also upgrade this to the next level as far as technology is concerned, comfort is concerned, and more importantly, safety. So this is the safest car on road. So of course, with all these uh, upgrades, there has to be increase in price. But uh, as an introductory price, we have kept it to the minimal difference versus what these cars were priced earlier. So there has been a moderate increase in the price as an introductory price. Petrol, diesel, it's available in those variants. What about hybrid? What about electric? What about the future of... Harrier and Safari, let's Petrol talk about is still that. not available, but uh, we do plan to bring petrol, uh, say, <clears throat> beyond one year time frame because we are in the process of development of engine, then it will go through integration uh, development with the vehicle, and then we are also installing capacities for the new 1.5 litre GDI. Uh, so that's going to take some time, but we are also coming with petrol engine. We also have planned to come with a battery electric vehicle on Harrier EV. So this is the plan as of now. We don't have any plan on hybrid. 